Scala map methods. With the collection map, we are having multiple different library defined methods are there which will be operated on the map objects. So, to get the full method list and the respective documentation, we are supposed to consult the Scala official documentation. But here in this particular video, we are going to discuss some of the methods which we use regularly in those applications which is Scala map based. So, here we are having this uh, method names and the respective description, one liner description to give you the idea. So, at first let us consider this plus plus returns a new map containing mappings of this map and those provided by access. So, here we are pro providing some values. So, it will get added with that. So, returns a new map containing the mappings of this map and those provided by the x values. So, we also are having this method minus or having this minus minus we are having the method get. So, optionally returns the value associated with a key. So, what will happen? The key will be passed as input of the type any and then it returns the option b. That means, if the key is found successfully then the respective value will be returned otherwise it will return none. So, diff iterator. So, iterator is, is the respective method name is iterator which returns this and creates a new iterator over all key value pairs of this map. We are having this add string, append all elements of this shrinkable collection to a string builder object. We are having this add string, but here you see we are having uh, uh, one difference, it is having the second input parameter which is having the separator of the type string. So, appends all elements of this shrinkable collection to a string builder using a separator string. We are having this apply, we are having this clear. So, remove all bindings from the map after this operation has completed, the map will be empty. Next one, we are having this clone, we are having this contents. Returns true if there is a binding for key in this map, false otherwise. So, we are having this copy to edit, that is another method. So, copies valids uh, values of this shrinkable collection to an array. So, from map to the array, it is copying the values, fills the given array uh, uh, x values with the value of the shrinkable collections. We are having this count. So, uh, counts the number of elements in the shrinkable collection which satisfy a certain predicate. When the predicate returns true, then it will be counted. When predicate returns false, the condition returns false, it will not be counted. So, as a result of that, it returns one integer at the end. So, this drop. So, returns all elements except the last n ones. You are passing this n here as input parameter. So, return all elements except the first n ones. So, next one is the drop right. We are having this drop while. Drop longest prefix of the elements that satisfy a certain predicate as it has been given here. We are having this empty returns the empty map of the same type, we are having this equals returns the true if the both maps contain exactly the same key value pairs and false otherwise. We are having exists, filter, filter keys and then find, finds the first element of the shrinkable collection satisfying a predicate if there is any. We are having this for each, we are having this init returns all elements except the last element is empty tests whether the map is empty or not. So, that is why it returns boolean that is true or false. We are having this keys only the key values will be obtained last returns the last element max and min finds the smallest element in case of min and finds the largest element in case of max. So, def mk string we are having this product returns the product of all elements of the shrinkable collection with respect to the star operator in num. We are having this remove, removes the key from the map returning the value associated previously with that key as an option. We are having this return, we are having this size return the number of elements in that map. We are having this sum returns the sum of all elements of the shrinkable collection with respect to the plus operator in num. We are having this tell returns all elements except the first, take returns the first n elements, we are having this take write, take while, 
2 array converts this swinkable collection to an array 2 buffer. So, now it is doing that uh, conversion type conversion returns a buffer containing all elements of this map. We are having this 2 list. So, it will convert it to the list 2 sequence 2 set and 2 string returns a string representation of the object. So, here we have discussed some of the methods of this map related applications. So, where, where you can use these methods as well to perform different operations on this map objects. Thanks for watching this video.